So I've got another example for you here, and we're still going to find dy over dx, and the second derivative of y with respect to x, and then we're going to determine for which values of t is this curve concave up. So we'll start by taking dy over dx, which is dy over dt, divided by dx over dt. Hopefully this is becoming familiar. And so the derivative of y is going to be the first uh, derivative of the first term times the second. So the first term is going to be 1 times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second, which is going to be negative 1 e to the negative t. So we can simplify this. Uh, well, actually, let's take the derivative of the bottom first. So derivative of e to the t is just going to be e to the t. So we can simplify this a bit more now. So we can say e to the negative t minus t e to the negative t over e to the t. And now we notice that we have a e to the negative t and an e to the negative t. And it's not always true, but more often than not, if you have uh, the same thing, you want to factor it out. So we're going to do that now. So we'll bring that out front. So e to the negative t times 1 minus t divided by e to the t. And so here, now we have e to the negative t divided by e to the t, which is just going to be uh, negative t minus t. So we can simplify this even more now, and we get e to the negative 2t times 1 minus t. Okay, so this is a good form now. So now we want to take the second derivative. So the second derivative of y with respect to x, which is d over dt times our first derivative, dy over dx, and all that's divided by, <coughs> excuse me, dx over dt. So let, we do that now. So we've got our derivative of our first term times our second, so um, minus 2 e to the negative 2t times our second term, 1 minus t, plus our first term times the derivative of the second term. And derivative of the second term is just going to be negative 1. So times negative 1. And all of that divided by dx over t, dt, which we already worked out, is e to the t. So let's simplify this uh, a little further. So we can, again, we can pull out e to the negative 2t. So we have e to the negative 2t times, we've got a negative 1, negative 2, and a 2t in there. And all of that over e to the t. So this is going to be equal to, well, when you divide um, these powers here, it's just going to be negative 2t minus t. So this is going to be the same as e to the negative 3t times, and we can just, you know, add these two terms together. So we get 2t and rearrange it. So 2t minus 3. Okay, so that's our, our second derivative. So now we need to find out when it is when is this concave up and that's going to happen when the second derivative is positive so if you look at this well t e to the whatever is still going to be positive so we're really just looking at when is t in here going to be positive and so let's let, let's write this out just to make sure we're clear, so it's concave up, concave up when the second derivative is positive, 
And that's going to happen when t is greater than 3 over 2. So, in other words, when this is 2 times 3 over 2 minus 3, so as 3 minus 3, so when t is greater than 3 over 2, then the second derivative will be positive, and then we know that the curve is going to be concave up. Okay, see you in the next video.